On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your programming abilities? 1. Neither of us can code and we want to make a game. All right. So today we'll be traveling all day trying to get to Castle Game Jam. Also they took our chairs. And monitors. Okay, so everyone has packed and we're about to leave. The only problem is we still have to get everything in the car and Marcel decided to bring his Cintiq. And uh, yeah, that fills up the whole space. certainly interesting and now we're uh, driving the PCs to the castle. But I want to sit over there. Good. This is Martin. He was kind enough to help us with click team because we had no idea what we were doing. Okay, so very little progress was made today. I spent the whole day trying to get um, movement to work, which I've never done. And at first I tried with the built-in click team stuff, but I wasn't happy with that because it, like the collision was... Uh, all of the options that the engine gives you, they just didn't work. So now I tried doing it myself with... Then I ran into the issue that if you have X speed and Y speed and you have a diagon diagonal that they add and then the character just goes like whoosh. And uh, yeah, it took some time to fix. Game Jam D1 survived. What is this? This is the plan. So, uh, yeah. Um, so I shot this time lapse here and I don't have any audio. Genius me. Um, so, yeah, let me <laughs> explain what I'm doing. Since we wanted to build a small town, I started with a rough layout of the town to get the sizes correct. Then I started drawing some houses. I had already made sketches on paper the night before, so I was basically just tracing over those sketches and like making them a little prettier. Yeah. Put it up on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking. Uh, this is excellent. I mean, this is beautiful. Wow! Changing colors. Yeah, it's supposed to change colors. Mm. 
movement is still not working like it should be, so now Joseph is trying it uh, to do it completely from scratch. Yay! So we have a town, we have movement, and now we just have to get the actual boss fight ready. Are you prepared? Oh yes. Yeah. We have a beer, we have stupid water, we have a light, and we have four. We survived day two. So today is day 3 of the game jam and last night we made some progress. Um, Joseph is working on the boss today and my goal is to get the game prettier than it is right now and maybe also work on the boss. Don't know yet. So this is what we have so far. You can run around. Um, screen changes. We have this little town. We have some animations in there. And uh, yeah. I tried making like these street lamps and like a fog layer and I hope to get that animated today but I still have no idea how to do that. Party mode eats, 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 eats. some of these watercolor textures and then basically I took a photo, um, I cleaned it up in Photoshop and then what I did is just finalize the graphics and then just layer them on top of the final graphic to give that kind of watercolory feel. Finished the second house and gave both houses some light. And then for today.
Our map is taking shape. Try again. Last-minute collider placement. So because the whole boss fight was in Joseph's PC and the finished version of the level before the boss fight was on mine, we had to sit down together and carefully merge everything. And before you're wondering, we still to this day don't know if there's any version control for the engine that we're using. Um, so yeah, it was a bit complicated. and the bus is not working anymore. The bus is fixed. In the end, there was a play session where we could test one another's games and a little award ceremony for the best entries in each category. If you are curious and want to check out the game, there's a Google Drive link in the description, um, and yeah, keep in mind that it is very broken and wonky because we had no idea what we were doing the whole time. Um, that's why I also put a second link to our second game jam down there so you can see the progress from first game jam without a programmer to second game jam without a programmer because I think we made a huge leap forward. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments. And I'm really enjoying these game jam videos so far. They just 
takes so long to make. Um, but I definitely want to make more of this type, so uh, yeah, if you're curious about game jams, making games, art, all of that stuff, um, let me know. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the day, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, Castle.